Hey guys, it's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. If you are interested in this subject, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell para updated ka sa mga next uploads ko. For today's video, we are going to discuss about measurements. English system of measurement. Okay, last topic ang idiniskas ko sa inyo is all about measurement in the metric system. For today's objectives, we are going to convert one unit to another unit in the English system. Convert one unit of measure in the English system to metric system. English system of measurement. This system of measurement was developed when people used to measure things using their body parts like their feet and everyday household items like a cup. English system common units of measurement in length they use inches, feet, yards, and miles. In weight we have pounds, ounces, and tons. In capacity we have cups, pints, and gallons. And in time we have seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, and years. Measures of length. So usually it tells how long, tall, or short, how far, or near. So in short, it tells distance. So the common devices we use are ruler, measuring tape, system of measurement for length we have one foot is equal to 12 inches one yard is equal to three feet one yard is equal to 36 inches one mile is equal to 1760 yards or 5280 feet and before we continue it's trivia time ba na ang ginamit na panukat ng mga Egyptian ay ang kanilang mga body parts, ang kanilang siko hanggang sa dulo ng kanilang daliri o ang tinatawag nating cubit ay ang kanilang ginamit sa pagbuo ng kilala nating Egyptian Pyramid. Ang ating hinlalaki o thumb ay may halos e approximately equivalent to 1 inch. Ang haba ng ating kamay mula siko hanggang sa kamao ay may halos katumbas ng isang ruler o 12 inches. One yard, as decreed by King Henry I of England, was the distance from the tip of his nose to the thumb of his outstretched arm. Yeah. 
Alam niyo ba na ang 1,000 full step is equivalent approximately to 1 mile? Now let's continue with our topic, converting one unit to another unit in the English system. So again, these are the equivalent measures in the English system. One foot is equal to 12 inches. One yard is equal to 3 feet or 36 inches. One mile is equal to 1,760 yards or 5,280 feet. Now, let's answer problem number one. How many inches are there in five feet? So, paano natin siya isosolve? Again, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So, five feet times 12 inches over one foot. Okay, bakit ganyan ang ratio natin? Kasi ang ating objective is to eliminate yung feet or foot na unit. So to solve this, this becomes 5 times 12 is equal to 60 inches. Therefore, 5 feet is equivalent to 60 inches. Let's have another example. If you are 5 feet and 5 inches tall, how tall are you in inches only? Nasolve na natin kanina na 5 feet is equivalent to 60 inches. So 5 feet plus 5 inches is equal to 60 inches plus 5 inches. So that is equivalent to 65 inches. So, let's have another example. How many feet are there in 240 yards? Remember that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet or 36 inches. So, ano ang pipiliin natin? So, syempre, ang pipiliin natin ay ang 1 yard is to 3 feet. To eliminate the unit na yard. So, 240 times 3 feet is equivalent to 720 yards. For the last example, we have, which is greater? Is it 6.7 feet or 3.7 yards? So, meron kang dalawang pwedeng maging solusyon. Pwede ang pag-convert mo sila sa feet or sa yards. So, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet or 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. So, pipili lang tayo kung anong gusto natin na i-convert. So, in this case, ang pinili kong i-convert ay ang 3.7 yard. Dahil ang yard ang gusto kong matanggal na unit, kaya i-multiply natin siya sa ratio na 3 feet is to 1 yard to eliminate the yard unit. Then, multiply 3.7 times 3, we will get 11.1 feet. So, which is greater, 6.7 feet or 3.7 yard? So, syempre, yung 3.7 yard kasi ito ay 11.1 feet. Now, let's discuss measure for length from English to metric length system. So, 1 inch, ito lang yung mga common. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 cm. 1 meter is equal to 3.3 feet. So, gamit ang ruler, ayan, yung inches, yung malalaking unit na nasa taas. And then, yung centimeter, ito yung mga guhit sa ibaba ng ruler. Now, let's have a sample problem here. Samantha's height is exactly 175 centimeters. If the minimum height requirement for a police officer is 5 feet 4 inches tall, is she qualified for the job?
sorry, it's DJ. Hey. And that ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to like, share, and comment in this video. Stay safe and God bless you all. Bye!